This is the Archer's Choice. This week on the Archer's Choice, <laughs> welcome. We're, we're going back cruising for caribou with the posse. Yep, up in Quebec. Yeah, we've got Joe, we and got Jake, Jake and Art, Art, and they're all chasing caribou in the tundra with their boat with their Hoyt bows. Is that what they're doing? Yeah, they're chasing. Are you sure? They're running, they're gunning, they're yeah, trying to go for it. As you know, caribou hunting is when you're in them, you're in them. When you're not, you're not. When you, that's a song, isn't it? When you you're want to start singing? Not, no, I don't. It's Ralph and karaoke. Hey, this it's week, Vicky on the ground. <laughs> this week you gotta look for Stealth Cam for the Lucky Logo. The Lucky Logo is Stealth Cam. And we will let you know at the end of the show what to do once you find that Lucky Logo Stealth Cam. Oh my gosh, let's go cruising for caribou, Quebec style. With Arctic Adventures and Joe and Jake. Wow. Yeah. Joe just shot his bow in the wind. <laughs> if you can't tell, the wind's blowing. But uh, they tell you to practice in it, but I mean, it's it's a straight 20 mile an hour wind and there's not a tree. I can't even see a tree. So it's tough to simulate the conditions, but any chance you have to, to shoot in the, in the wind, you need to. You gotta take advantage of it because it, it definitely affects how you shoot. So we're gonna see what we can do right here and hopefully we'll be close. Not too bad. Made it through the travel, seems to be pretty good. Try her again. We're on, baby. Joe, arrow, caribou. You need to hit him, buddy. Man, you talk about God's country. I told you guys earlier on the ride up, there's like nothing out here. Look at how open this water, tundra, rock, that's it. These animals survive up here. We're up on top of a vantage point right now trying to do some scouting for some bulls. Panique, <laughs> and you're just going panique. And uh, what a morning. How could you ask for anything better than this? Just a couple bulls would be good. Heads are down, I can't tell if they're bulls or not. Probably cows, there's five of them there. Welcome well, back to the Archer's Choice. You know, we talk about reality. Everyone's into reality TV shows. Mm -hmm. Well, in reality, in reality, hmm, Joe, happens. In reality, people miss. You put a lot of effort forth, and sometimes it just doesn't happen. And Joe's a detailed guy. He's got a, like fine detail like this. Uh, uh. But well, sometimes details go to the wayside.
I had everything ranged. I shot my bow last night. I had the bow shot shooting two inch groups at 50. And Are you shaking? Oh yeah. It's not a little black spot on a white box. <laughs> I, you know what I think? I, I, I think I was rack fever. I was seeing that big old bull. This is my first time caribou hunting. When you hear those hooves clicking and you hear that herb rattling the rocks, shaking the ground, well, maybe it was me shaking, but I think the, shine, the ground was shaking. Ralph Vic, don't be too hard on me. Time for this week's Bow Hunting World Magazine Tip of the Week. This week's Bow Hunting World Tip is with all of us traveling more and more, there's a few things that the airlines are not friendly with. One of them is the weight. When you start going for on a trip, caribou, moose, whatever it may be, deer, or up, in, up in Canada, anything, we use our waterproof bags and we pack everything in and we weigh it. And then when we find out that we're a little overweight, because we talked to the outfitter already, we know exactly what the bush plane is going to allow us in the weight. You pack it, unpack it, pack it, unpack it, and you weigh it every single time. You'd be amazed at how much stuff you leave at home because you really never needed it to begin with. So packing it and weighing it is one of the greatest tips we can give you. The other thing is keeping them in waterproof bags. A lot of times they throw, the, they'll throw your gear off at the plane and if it's near a dock with water, it falls in, you're in trouble for a few days. The other thing is with, if you're traveling like we do, Vicki and I always together, or our posse guys, a lot of times we'll share a bow case. The Plano's got the double bow case. It weigh, it, the weight of it alone is very light. But when you to put your two bows in, it allows you to have one more piece of luggage. All of those little tips combined with doing everything that way, believe me, will save you time, effort, and not kill your budget when you were trying to keep it under budget to begin with. That is your bow hunting world tip of the week. You know, what makes us successful is patience. Sometimes you get close in on those bulls, they bed down, they do whatever, and then they get up and leave. Well, hopefully, there'll be more coming. Not five wolves. We're going straight up the hill. Bow hunting today with Archer's Choice and Arctic Adventures. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice, Ralphie. Yes. That's not going to protect this spot up here. No, up there's a solar panel for a... Uh, I won't go there now. Uh, now, let's talk about being patient and being persistent. Because Jake and the guys, Joe, they were. They saw caribou that they really wanted to try to get. And even though it's a migratory animal, they kept on it, kept on it, pursued it, made it happen. And, well, that's what you call hunting.
should angle in. That's gonna angle right in there. That arrow went in back. I mean, it went back in in the flank bit, but I'm telling you, there's no arrow sticking out on our side. There's 30 inches up in that chest cavity right there. You're never, you're never going to see this and never understand the full story. Guys, we have ran two miles. I mean, two miles through mud and swamp and sprints and uphills and around trees. And we got the shot and we, we did what we needed to do. We had an encounter on this hill this morning. He is done right here. Did not go 50 yards. And look at this caribou. <laughs> Holy cow. <sighs> wow, look at this, he's already peeling. Started stripping. <sighs> Guys, Arctic Adventures, cruising for caribou here in Bobby's Caribou Camp. We got Derek and George. And, I mean, it's been a phenomenal week. A phenomenal week. <laughs> Joe just killed a good one and now I came out and brought the Hoyt and killed another good one. They have got some good caribou. Ooh, welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now it's Artie's turn. It's up big art. Safari, turn around. Little art. Oh, camera's here. Sorry, yeah, guys. Safari it's Art Nordique. Safari Nordique. He's yes. up in, in Quebec hunting with Safari Nordique and they're covered up with caribou. I, you think they're having a good time? We always have a good time in You're right. He was walking through there. I thought I gave him enough lead. Height was real good. Unfortunately, I think I hit him a little far back, so we gotta give him a little bit of time to lay down. Looks like a phenomenal bull, so. Oh. Hey, buddy. There he is. There he is right down there, son. Thank you very much. Congratulations. I'm happy. <laughs> Dang, that looks like a good bull. I'm gonna very have to put this back on. Got a little warm walking, no, walking up that hill, but very, very nice. the snow's starting to fly. Awesome. That awesome. Look at that. Well, Look at the front. He's got business going on there. He does. Just coming out of his velvet. Look at that. And got some back scratchers here. Very nice. That's a great bull. Nice. Look at the mane. Beautiful. Beautiful caribou. Very nice. Awesome. He gave me a good shot. His, these things don't stop though. I just, I'm not used to that. Our whitetail stopped, but uh, it's, it all worked out. I mean, this is, here he is. I got to thank Safari Nordique. I, I got to thank Tourism of Quebec, uh, putting this thing together along with Archer's Choice Media. It's phenomenal. You know, thank the big man upstairs for letting us do what we do, because this is, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I mean, this is great. This is absolutely phenomenal. So, 
you know, it's it's beautiful and all, all I can say. We sure hope you enjoyed this week's Cruising for Caribou Quebec style. It was a lot of fun. The guys up there had a blast. I they think. had a blast. And you know, we picked on Joe, but the bottom line here is- He missed. Missing is part of the game. And oh. how many of you out there have ever shot and missed? Uh, oh, do you ever uh, miss? We all miss. I know, we do. Hey, did you look for the Stealth Cam logo? If you did, you need to go to huntingnet.com slash archer's choice. Give us the information, tell us where you saw it, and some lucky viewer just might get some fun stuff. Cam stuff. We also want to mention one other thing. Yes, what's that? Is it's becoming that time for the fan favorite Golden Moose Award voting oh, okay. on outdoorchannel.com. Outdoor Channel. We're just asking that you go and you, you vote for your favorite show, vote for your producers. Everyone should get some kind of recognition. That's it. And that's, you know, of course, we want you to vote for us. Sure. But that's a really, sure. that's like begging for votes. No, we won't beg. <laughs> no, please, we don't beg for please, votes. Not at all. So please. we hope you enjoyed this week's show. We hope you come back next week, same time. Same channel. Right here on the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.